Good day guys, today is episode 3 of my fish pond and we'll show you the inflow of water coming in the pond and the outflow of water. Here I'm going to show you the, uh, the inflow of my water supply. Uh, there's so many cattails here and trees it's kind of hard to see now. Okay, I don't know if you can see this on camera, hold on. There you go guys, this is a 6 inch pipe and that's the inflow of my water supply. Okay, so um, there's, a, there's a 6 inch uh, non-perforated -perf weeping tile underground here. And I got an excavator to come here and, and dig up so I, we can bury a six inch uh, weeping tile. And it's buried all along the road here. The more we climb the hill, the deeper the pipe is buried because it's, uh, it's buried pretty much level. This was almost a whole day job to bury this pipe. Okay, so the pipe is now buried over here. There it is, folks. That's my water supply here. So let's get down here. Hopefully I won't break my neck going down this steep hill here. Alright guys, there's the creek. Um, actually this is spring fed water, it comes from a, a few kilometers away, but it's not only spring water because this also gets mixed with uh, rain water that comes from the field. So that's why the water is kind of dirty because when it rains hard, which is, has, has been raining a lot lately, uh, it brings a lot of mud in the water from the fields and whatnot. There's also a beaver dam. so. Uh, that's not helping things out, but anyways, uh, this is a, the creek here, and uh, also when the, uh, the snow melts in the springtime, the, there's a lot of a flow of water here. And do you see this? That's a six-inch weeping tile. It's a non-perforated weeping tile, and it's buried deep, deep underground, really deep. It's about buried over here it's buried about 15 feet deep anyways that's that's the water that goes in my pond and because it's spring fed even in the summer when it's really dry there's still a flow of water here when it rains uh, the water can't keep up going into the weeping tile so it goes over my concrete dam here and the reason I made a concrete dam you see this this is a rock here okay so I could not get enough water to go in the weeping tile, so I kind of had to make like a dam, a concrete dam. So just to raise the level of the water a little bit so more water can go in the weeping tile. And like I said, when it rains really hard, the water goes over the dam, and this is why I, I kind of ground the ridge here. It's just so the water can go, it flows in, in the center of my uh, concrete dam so it doesn't uh, cause erosion on the side. See this side here. Um, this concrete dam here, whew, that was a lot of work. Like, like you see, it's 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 right on the rock, and I drilled a whole bunch of holes, about a foot deep, half inch holes, right in the rock, and I put a whole bunch of uh, rebar. I hammered the rebar in the holes, and they they stuck out six inches or so and then I poured the concrete over so this concrete dam is is not going anywhere 
Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you the outflow pipe. So follow me here. Okay, again, there's my pond. There you go guys, that, that is the outflow pipe. And you don't see it, there's a lot of cattails here, but there's a, a screen that's a uh, stainless steel woven mesh. It's uh, pretty heavy duty anyways. And it's about four feet long, just to make sure it doesn't clog up. And uh, actually I haven't even cleaned it in like two years and, and it's not clogging up. So there you go, that's a, a six inch PVC plastic pipe, or PVC pipe I should say goes underground here and it attaches to a uh, six inch non-perforated weeping tile. So, it goes over here, crosses the road here, and flows over here somewhere. There we go. There's the outflow. Okay guys, I just want to give you a quick update on my garden. Um, if you've been following me for a little while, uh, you'll remember one of the videos uh, when I seeded the garden. Anyways, these are my cucumbers. Um, sorry, my garden's a mess. I, uh, I've been so, so busy in the last three, four weeks, I didn't even have time to de-weed my garden. Uh, I've been busy clearing up about an acre of field. Anyways, you, you probably saw that on one of my videos. Uh, anyways, uh, these are my peas, these are my beets, there you go, those are the beets, <laughs> I think the weeds are, yeah, the weeds are taller than the beets. Uh, these are my onions, those are my green beans, and these here are my carrots. Now uh, let's go see the other garden. You remember when uh, me and my father planted these uh, Russian blue potatoes? Look at that, look how they're growing, that is crazy. Look at that, I got more peas over here. I gotta have a lot of peas this year. Look at that. Look how tall the, that is, that is like over three feet tall. That is super crazy. We're gonna have so much potatoes this year, it's crazy. We can't, we can't even pass the tiller in between the rows anymore, that, that's nuts. And there's the corn. Not too bad at all. Looks pretty healthy to me. And finally, there's the wife garden. You can probably remember when I built this uh, raised garden bed. Anyways, there's the rhubarb. Look at that. That's crazy, it's growing like mad. And the tomatoes, oh my goodness. Look at that, the plants are like four feet tall. And what do we have here? We have some lettuce. All right guys, thanks for watching.